Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's trade the DIY Ninja and today I'm going to be trying to make my own custom nail stickers. <music> this will work this is going to be my first attempt at doing this but yeah i have a set of really basic plain nails on and i need to decorate them with something so i was like hmm i wonder if i can make my own diy ninja nail stickers so i'm in paint 3d right now on my pc you can use any um like software you have available if you are on a mac or something or an ipad you can use procreate i'm just using paint 3d because it's free and it's easy to use so i figure maybe a lot of people may have access to this so this is my ninja i just um inserted the image from my file into paint 3d and then i resized it and i just pasted it copy and pasted it over and over and over and you can see down here that there is a gap but it's okay no big deal i just want to see if this works um the sizing i'm not positive on what size it is i kind of just eyeballed it so i have my canvas set to um the amazon merch settings which is if i show you over here it is 4500 width by 5400 height and that to me usually is about the size of a standard piece of copy paper which is 8.5 by 11 inches it might not, it's not exactly but it's close enough so i can kind of eyeball exactly how big it is so i think it may be kind of perfect for the thumbnail but maybe a little large for the pinky nail but it may fit like um if i just put it back to its normal size i think that's about the normal size it may fit my pointer fingers we'll see it's kind of hard to tell so i'm gonna print this out on what is this called i have this paper here that i bought from amazon oh this is from online labels but they also sell directly on amazon as well and this is just their matte white uh sticker paper it was the most affordable that i could find at the time so Yep, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to go up here to my folder and just press print. Oops, hopefully you're focused. And once again, sorry if the video is shaky. Hi, you can see me in the reflection. I have to hold my phone, um, my camera because, um, yeah, I can't screen record on Paint 3D. If anyone knows how to do that, please let me know. I'm just going to click print. Oh, my baby's coming, so get ready for some noise. And I'm going to press 2D image. I'm going to make sure I'm on my right printer up here. I have two of the same exact printers, so I have to make sure I've done the right printer. Um, take a look at your preview. Usually when you print, there's always like some kind of border or gap around it. I like to just push my images up on the top, and I'll just leave the space on the bottom. But you can always change that here. Where is it? Over here. Here at the alignment, you can change it to the center if it bugs you. Because I know like some people like things like super even. Otherwise, it causes them anxiety so yeah so i'll just put that in the center for you guys okay and hopefully this is focusing and then i will go into more options down here and i print on premium presentation matte so I'm going to change that. Sorry if it's out of focus. I don't think I can hold the camera very still. And then the print quality on high. And then I'll just press OK. Those are the same settings I usually use for sublimation. However, if you're keeping up with my channel, you know that I recently switched the quality on sublimation from high to standard. But I noticed for sticker paper, um, it the ink kind of rubs off. So... I wanted to just add a little extra ink to see if it would actually rub off or not. So, I can just click print here, and then we can look at the printout. Okay, here is the printout. I'm just kind of letting it dry for a bit. But you can see that it printed out really crisp, really clear. Um, the sizing, I'll put my thumb next to it. It's perfect for the thumbnail kind of not sure here let me go a little closer 
for the pointer. My pointer, middle, and ring finger are all the same size. So, um, it might work. The head is a little round. And the pinky is definitely too big for. So, here is the hard part. <laughs> um, I'm debating on whether I should, like, use packing tape and cover this up to, like, protect the ink. I think you're supposed to do that. But I'm going to just do a little experiment for this one and just leave it. And then I'm going to polish on top of it and see if that ruins the ink. Because I know for resin casting, you have to seal in your stickers or else the resin will kind of like melt the ink over time. And it will just blur and smudge. And I think the same stands true for gel polish. But I've never tried it, so let's give this a try. I'm going to be putting this on my cutting mat and using my brother's Scan and Cut 125TX. This machine is awesome because you don't really have to use like a program since it's hard for me to see very well, especially like fine details on a computer screen. So this will scan your image and make its own cut lines automatically. However, it's not consistent, I've noticed. Like if an so image is kind of too small, it might not be able to cut around it. So let me show you here. So right here is where I'm concerned about this little, the tie on the ninja mask, I guess, may not cut out. And I'm not sure if it will cut accurately around the ninja's limbs and even its head because um, it's kind of a small image, but we'll see. So I'm going to prep for cutting and then I'll show you what it looks like and I'll show you my settings and walk you through how I'm going to scan it and all that stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're at the machine and I have my mat loaded right here. So we're kind of like super zoomed in at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to click the scan button. I'm going to kick click direct cut just click on this machine they're just asking where you want to save it but it doesn't really save so it doesn't matter um start and scan it it's going to suck in the image and again make sure you have enough room in the back it does go out the back all right so just like that, it's already scanned, as you can see right here. It has scanned the entire image. I'm going to press OK. And there we go. And here you can kind of adjust the cutting area. I'm going to bring it up to not cut the tape. And also bring it into the side a bit. Hopefully I didn't cut off any ninjas. And uh, bring it down. There we go. I'm going to check that side. That side looks good. Can even bring this up a little bit more. And let's see if I can zoom in. Okay. All right. I'm going to press preview. And there is the preview of our cuts. Let's try to get in there. I don't know if you can see, but there are like little outlines around each ninja. I'm not sure if it will be able to cut those fine details, but let's give it a try. So it's going to process there. And here is where you can add a border. I'm not really sure what this one does. Let's just click on it. Oh, this is like outside shape. That one. Okay. Nope, I wanted to outline the outside. So we'll just press OK. And then you select what you wanted to do. I wanted to cut. And I have my half cut on because I don't want it to cut all the way through. I want it to leave the paper on the back so I can just peel the stickers off. My blade is set to auto. My speed is set to three. This is just the standard settings on the machine. And uh, it says it's going to take approximately 15 minutes to cut out because it's so many of them. It's so intricate. So let's just get this started. Okay, 
So right now the machine is just testing the thickness of the paper. And I like to watch it in the beginning because sometimes my mag my mat I can't talk today as always. My mat is not as sticky as it should be because it's pretty dirty. So sometimes the image will flip up and then it'll mess up the cut. So I keep an eye on it. But yep. Let's see if we can see exactly where it, what it's doing. Hmm. I can't tell if it's cutting correctly, but we'll definitely find out soon enough. So we're just going to speed through this and then I'll come back when everything's cut. So I just finished cutting out and it looks like it was an uneven cut like this cut all the way through and then I checked this next one and it cut perfectly kind of there is some black residue there let's take a look at the sticker that I just peeled off if it will focus oh it's backwards um yeah it's not aligned correctly like there is do you see that the white space is there so I would consider this a fail, like it couldn't cut accurately, which sucks. But um, yeah, if it could cut those out great, that would have been cuter. You know what, maybe I'll have to just change my design and just um, make it just a ninja head. But then it still can't really cut this side. I'll make it, maybe I'll make it just a ninja head. And I'll make it bigger so that it can cut in there. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, let's give this another try. Okay, so I redid the graphics here. I just deleted the ninja body. So hopefully it will cut out. And I made it a lot bigger. It might be too big for my nails now, but we'll give it a try. So I'm just going to go back to the print settings, I'm going to go print, oops, ho hopefully you can see that, 2D image, um, D3, and uh, I'm going to leave the paper plain this time and maybe just do the print quality too high. Or should I do standard vivid? I've never tried that. Let's try it. Standard vivid. Okay. So we'll do that. And then I'm going to press print. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay, that was pretty fast. That was a lot faster. And it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and then I will try to cut this out again. So as you can see, it's huge. I guess these will be like nail wraps. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I could use them as nail wraps. Oh, it's way too big, though. Or in there, I just use them as regular stickers. I think I need to make them smaller. Make the heads a little smaller. So I'm going to do that. And then, yep, we'll give it a try. See how it cuts. Okay, so I made the ninja heads a little smaller and I already cut them out. Let's see if it worked. Right, so I just took one off. Um, it's still a little bit off, but I've made the setting to cut inside this time. So hopefully there won't be any white left on the sticker on the outside perimeter. Let's take a look. Um, focus. It looks better. Let's try this on a nail. I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, so I have a... Here are my plain nails. Okay, you can make a video. I'm just gonna place this on. Okay. You do it. I do Try to get this in the center. So if you can see here, actually, these are press-ons, but I'm testing out this new sticky tab. So they look a little funky close up. That's why. 
Mm, they definitely look like pressings, but it's okay. No one's usually this close to your nail. Let's see what this looks like far away before I commit. They're pretty big. <laughs> I'm gonna check the side. Do side action. All right, let's just press it on. And... And then the oven making a piece. There we go. And it wasn't it exactly so. centered, but it's okay. I'm just gonna push it down. All right. Looks way better than before the other ones because it actually cut correctly. Maybe I'll try to do the ninja body again another time and um, have it cut on the inside too. Maybe that will help. But yeah, okay. I don't know. I'm not loving the size. But I'm going to try to coat this just for uh, testing sake. Don't mind the squeakiness. My son is insisting on sitting on the squeakiest chair in the world. <laughs> Even though we have other chairs to sit on. Um, hmm. I'm going to try to lay this like totally flat. So I'm just going to push down any ridges that I feel. I'm just going to rub it down here. Kind of like a nail foil. Let's zoom in here on this little tag. At least that cut clean. I'm sorry. Let's focus. Uh, oh, there's still some white there. I guess I just can't cut in there. Oh, and there's still some here. That's kind of annoying, but... Oh, well. I think I have to actually use the software. But I forgot my login, so yeah, that's why I didn't. I think if I did the software and traced it, it would be able to cut it. We'll try that in the next video. May I do it? Or the next time I try to make stickers. So I'm going to coat this, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, guys, this is what the nail looks like. After I coated it with gel polish, I used the Beatles Top It Off Top Coat. And you know what? It turned out okay. Don't mind my press-on like lifting a little <laughs> let me just try to hide it with my sweater there we go so this is what this sticker looks like after i coated it with top coat and it didn't smudge or anything so that's pretty cool the only thing is you have to be careful on how you apply it to make sure there's no bumps and that it's totally smooth and you have to add a really thick layer of top coat to encapsulate the sticker but it does work um, I think I'm going to try to make them smaller and maybe just crop out the little tie here. This one I had to actually just cut it off. So I think I'll just make little circle ninjas. And then I can do a little small pattern on the rest of the nails. But that'll be for another day, for another video. But yeah, at least now we know that you can't just use a regular sticker on regular sticker paper instead of like water decals because they are kind of a lot more pricey hopefully this video is clear it's kind of late at night right now and the lighting is horrible but yeah here are the nails let me try to there we go there we go oh, i think it's cute and then if I had done another design on the rest of the nails, it would look more cohesive. But right now, we're just testing out the stickers. Focus. Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, well, thanks for joining me today and watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And ring the notification bell to be notified of when I post next. Leave a comment down below of what you think of these stickers. And thumbs up this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!